In today's video, we're gonna learn how to fix HTTP error 400. Let's get started. Browser cache and cookie issues. We've said it before and we'll say it again. Clearing your browser cache is where you should always start when troubleshooting. Simply do Control or Command Shift R to clear the cache for that specific page. If that doesn't help, then let's move on to the other fixes. Check your URLs. One of the primary causes is an actual error in the URL. Not a typo, but an illegal character that isn't part of the server's expected syntax. Let's go with a simple example. When you're working with a UTM campaign, you can use percent sign %20 and similar codes to insert characters. You could put a URL like this one into a browser right now and it would work. However, if you put a percent sign in the main part of the URL, the server just has no idea what you're asking for. This most likely will happen on URLs that you click. So if you follow a link that gives you a 400 bad request screen, check the primary URL for any strange characters that shouldn't be there. Check browser add-ons and extensions. Much like WordPress debugging, you wanna make sure that third-party software isn't causing the issue. If you run any browser extensions or add-ons, it's a very good idea to disable them individually to see if one of them is causing the error to pop up. And if you can reload the page and not get a 400 error, then you know what the issue is. File size is too large. Users can come across an HTTP error when trying to upload a file. Before continuing, upload a smaller file to the server, and if it goes through, then there's a higher chance the file size limit needs to be increased. In your wp-config.php file, you should find a line that looks something like this. If you do not find it, you can add it directly above the line that reads, that's all, stop editing, then adjust the 64 to 128 or 256. Doing so will change the maximum file upload size for your WordPress site. Flush your DNS cache. This can help in the same way that clearing your browser's cache and deleting cookies helps. Your computer is saving DNS information for sites you've been to in order to load them faster upon revisiting them. But sometimes that old info conflicts with the site's most recent version and you get a 400 error. It's a pretty easy fix though. In Windows, you just need to open up the command prompt. Just enter CMD in the search and when you get to the prompt, just type in ipconfig slash flush DNS and that can fix your 400 error. If you're on Mac, it's very similar. Open terminal and enter this line. If that doesn't work, try this one. These lines and others mentioned are available in the blog post linked in the description. And there you go. That is how you fix HTTP error 400. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.